missed them both. The final heave from midcourt. The Super Eagles of Nigeria in action later today by 8 p.m. Same time, Egypt. I will see in action taking on Sudan. And it's a battle for uh, top sports right here in this last group game. We're taking Guinea-Bissau. Mm -hmm. Lots of changes expected. Yesterday we had likes of Peter Olainka, Alexander Iwobi, likes of Chirai Juke, Kelechi Nwakali at the base. Uh, the likes of Jamilu Collins expected to get in. Tyron Ibui, even in between the sticks, we're expecting uh, you know, Francis Zoho uh, to get in and get some running here but irrespective of the changes you see the super eagles of nigeria in action and you definitely want to go for three points blighting i agree with you they need to go for the three point basically nigeria's qualified nigeria's qualified already but they need a three point why to keep the momentum going keep the mentality going it's always necessary having the situations and building the team especially when you're giving the bench players opportunity to play what it does for the team is uh, you never can tell you get to see a player who you've not who's quite talented and the coach had not given opportunity to play in, in the first two games. And he plays quite well. You, you might pick the player to play in the next round, and he might be a savior for you in the next round. But right now, Nigeria are in a good position. I think the quest in the group is quite open to anybody. We're looking at Egypt with three points, um, Sudan one point, and Guinea one point. If, if Guinea gets to win today, they have four points and probably qualify. Sudan gets to beat Egypt today. Egypt seem out of the competition and Sudan qualifies with four points. Um, the good thing about, or the interesting thing about uh, the CAF competition now is you consider head-to-head -head first. So it doesn't matter what the scoreline would be. If you are head-to-head -head against a team with the same point, you qualify ahead that team. And that's what the likes of Sudan and Guinea-Bissau were looking out for right now, to see how to get a win in the final games against Nigeria and against Egypt to qualify. We've seen the upsets already, and anything is possible for the smaller teams to do. Missed them both. The final heave from mid